I think it's a good time to ask this question. What, how difficult was it for you to make the decision to not run again? Because it was such in your DNA, at least as a fellow Louisvillian, to observe you over the years and growing up with you, basically, yeah. as my mayor. That that seemed for some people it seemed shocking to me. It kind of didn't because I thought, well, my, you know, he's done it a long time. How well, did I, you process that and make the decision with Madeline? I guess I was getting ready to run for my sixth and final term, I and I got the call from uh, Governor Bashir, who he and his wife had been friends of ours for thirty some odd years. Mm -hmm. I co-chaired his campaign when he ran for governor and lost the first yeah. time twenty some odd years back. Uh, they've just been great friends. And he called and he said, you know, you got this city thing down pretty good. And now you got this city county thing down pretty good. He said, would you come up here and, and help me as we develop uh, our work with cities and counties? And, you know, we saw it as, a, as a, a, an opportunity, a new challenge. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, as you know, the position of lieutenant governor has no statutory requirements. And he said to me, I want you to work in economic development, and I want you to handle education, community colleges, universities, et cetera, uh, as well as be at my side when we make decisions, like when we developed the CONNECT program, the okay. Affordable Care Act. And uh, so, you know, we thought, what, what the heck? What, maybe, maybe this is the time to do something different. And to be honest with you, um, I was toying with the idea of looking at running for governor. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know, what a, what a great way to be up close and personal travel the state, uh, see what's going on. And most people that run for lieutenant governor run just to get prepared. Sure, it makes sense. It took me about two and a half, three years to realize I didn't want to be governor. Mm -hmm. And that's when I made the announcement uh, so that others would know that I wasn't going to run so that right. they could. It just wasn't, you know, when you have to raise $15, 20000000 million to run for governor, you've, and that's, you, you've got to have a passion for the job. And as lieutenant governor, I was spending four hours a day uh, dialing for dollars. Steve and I were going to one or two fundraisers every night. Uh, you got to really want it. And I just didn't really want it. Mm -hmm. um, and within, you know, several weeks thereafter, all of a sudden I get a call from the White House. So when one window closes, another That's window That's what's opens. always been amazing to me about your career, how it's, it's almost like, like there's someone watching over. It's like, yeah. you know, one door. It's really been phenomenal. I've been lucky. 